Since the 2011 tsunami, which severely damaged the Japan Fukushima nuclear plant, more than a million tons of treated wastewater has accumulated there. Japan began discharging it on 24th of August 2023, in a process that will take 30 years to complete. In this video, I would like to share with you my reading on tritium. I will present it from level 1 to level 10, with an increasing level of complexity. You can determine your appropriate level, at which to conclude on your own. Let's start. Level 1. News and Background Japan's government says that the Fukushima water is filtered through its advanced liquid processing system ALPS, which reduces most radioactive substances to acceptable safety standards, except tritium. The Japan government claims that the final level of tritium, about 1,500 becquerels per liter, lower than the level required by the regulators for nuclear waste discharge or by the World Health Organization for drinking water. In contrast, Japan's plan to release treated wastewater from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific Ocean has sparked anxiety and anger at home and abroad. Critics say Japan should keep the treated water in the tanks. Beijing has widened the ban on seafood from the whole of Japan since 24th of August 2023. In fact, China has been the biggest buyer of Japanese seafood. Level 2 Physics Nuclear energy is a form of energy released from the nucleus, the core of atoms made up of protons and neutrons. This source of energy can be produced in two ways, fission when nuclei of atoms split into several parts, or fusion when nuclei fuse together. Nuclear fission is a reaction where the nucleus of an uranium-235 atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei while releasing energy. These extra neutrons will hit other surrounding uranium-235 atoms, which will also split and generate additional neutrons in a multiplying effect, thus generating a chain reaction in a fraction of a second. Each time the reaction occurs, there is a release of energy in the form of heat and radiation. The heat is used to boil water, producing steam which drives turbines and generates electricity. The boiled water is cooled down by a huge amount of seawater. The operation of nuclear power plants produces waste with varying levels of radioactivity. Level 3. Chemistry Tritium is a form of hydrogen. In chemical terms, tritium is a radioactive form or isotope of hydrogen. Like hydrogen, tritium has one proton, while on the other hand, tritium has two neutrons that makes the mass number of tritium to be three. The ancient Greek tritos mean third. Naturally occurring tritium is extremely rare on Earth. It is produced from interactions of cosmic rays with gases in the upper atmosphere. Tritium is also artificially generated by nuclear fission reaction as a byproduct of nuclear weapons tests and nuclear power station. In these situations, tritium is either discharged to the sea or the atmosphere. Concerning radioactivity, tritium takes 12 years to decay to half of its original amount. So the half-life of tritium is 12.33 years. When tritium decays, it gives off beta radiation, which can be stopped by a thin sheet of metal or plastic or block of wood. Level 4. History One of the first great achievements of chemistry was to show that all matters is built from about 100 elements. Hydrogen, oxygen, and uranium are some examples of elements. Atom is mainly empty space with a small central nucleus consisting of positive charges. Discovered in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford, a Nobel Prize winner in chemistry, the Danish physicist Niels Bohr pictured the hydrogen atom as a small solar system with an electron moving in an orbit around the positively charged nucleus of one proton. Niels Bohr won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. In 1932, Werner Heisenberg submitted the first of three papers on his neutron-proton model of the nucleus. Heisenberg was awarded the 1932 Nobel Prize in Physics and he was a principal scientist in the Nazi nuclear weapons program during World War II. Tritium was first isolated and realized its radioactivity in 1939 by Louis Alvarez, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics 1968. Alvarez had an offer from Robert Oppenheimer to work on the Manhattan Project 
in the design of the fat man, a plutonium bomb. Interestingly, some of the mentioned scientists are involved in the film of Oppenheimer, level 5 social. Tritium can be combined with phosphor to create glow in the dark lighting, such as exit signs and airport runway lights. Rolex has used a number of different luminous materials for its watches throughout its history. One of the material is tritium. Rolex used tritium for its watches from 1963 to 1998. Many watches of different brands used tritium luminous material too. Luckily, beta radiation released from tritium can be stopped by a thin sheet of metal or plastic or a block of wood. Level 6. Environmental. The most common form of tritium is tritiated water, which is formed when a tritium atom replaces a hydrogen atom in water to form HTO. HTO has the same chemical properties as water and is odorless and colorless. The half-life of tritiated water is 10 days. The operation of nuclear plants produces large quantities of radioactive materials. A small fraction of this activity is typically emitted to the environment each year as a result of normal plant operations. Radioactive effluents are released in airborne and liquid form. The liquid radioactive waste discharged from nuclear plants include not only tritium, but also radioactive carbon-14, cobalt-60, strontium-90, technetium-99, iodine-129, cesium-137, plutonium-241, etc. A China study showed that different forms of tritium were found in the soil around Qinshan nuclear power plants. Together from another study from South Korea demonstrated that the concentrations of tritium in soil decreased with distance from the respective nuclear power plants. A Canadian study reported similar results of tritium in soils near the nuclear facilities. Level 7 Biology. In the UK, the exposure to artificial radioactivity in the environment mainly comes from permitted or authorized release from UK nuclear sites. The Radioactivity in Food and the Environment report is published each year by the environmental regulators and food standards agencies. In 2021, people living around the Cumbrian coast, Kepenhurst and Amersham were the most exposed from releases of radioactivity. The highest exposure was 21% of the legal limits in 2021 due to people eating locally produced seafood, fish and crustacean around the Cumbrian coast. In Scotland, people eating food collected from areas along the Dumfries and Galloway coastline were the most exposed from releases of radioactivity. The exposure in 2021 was approximately 6% of the legal limit. The highest exposure in Wales was for those people living near the former Chorsfinit nuclear power station, which is being decommissioned. This was due to them consuming locally produced food, milk, containing radioactivity released from past discharges from the station. The exposure was approximately 4% of the legal limit. The mentioned radioactivity in food is not from tritium, but likely from other radioactive substances. Moreover, in running a nuclear plant, it withdraws more than 70 trillion gallons of water from ocean, rivers, lakes, and reservoirs, killing billions of adult and juvenile fish and shellfish, larva, eggs, and other organisms every year. Level 8. Medicine. Tritium is a relatively weak source of beta radiation, which itself is too weak to penetrate the skin. Tritium can enter the body through inhalation, injection, or absorption through the skin. Most tritium leaves the body as tritiated water in urine, in breath. Most inhaled tritiated hydrogen gas is exhaled immediately. Only if the tritium is consumed in extremely large quantities, then it may increase the risk of cancer. A systemic review of epidemiological studies of exposure to tritium involving radiation workers, their offspring, and members of the public have been reviewed. In general, the available epidemiological studies do not contain enough detail to estimate risk from tritium exposure. A cohort of 45,000 nuclear plant industry workers in Canada monitored for more than a year for chronic low-dose whole-body 
ionizing radiation exposures sometimes between 1957 and 1994. The Canadian workers' background leukemia risk was increased more than 50-fold per SV exposure. But there is quite a bit of uncertainty in the actual size of the risk. There have been two radiation exposure accident reports in human due to long-term injection of tritium, which occurs at two watch factories in Europe in the 1960s. At that time, luminous paints containing tritium were commonly used to draw the face of a watch. In one case, a factory worker ingested tritium integrated into luminous paints over 7.4 years. His exposure dose was estimated at 3 to 6 SV. He developed anemia and subsequently died of pancytopenia. In the second case, a factory worker who ingested tritium integrated into luminous paints over three years with an estimated accumulated dose of 10 to 20 SV died of pancytopenia after following a similar disease course. It should be noted that these two people were also exposed to radioisotopes other than tritium over a long period. Level 9. Science In the discussion of tritium, it is about science rather than writing composition or debate. Science is a system of knowledge that entails unbiased observations and systemic experimentation. So, if you are for or against Japan's plan to release treated wastewater from the Fukushima nuclear plant to into the Pacific Ocean, please show your arguments by experimental data through the science research paper. My suggested readings are the fact sheet by Canadian, a review article journal by Japanese, study of the soil around the nuclear plants by Chinese, the radioactivity in food and the environment reports by UK, and the IAEA reports. Level 10. Politics. In China and Hong Kong, ensuring political correct is crucial. China and Hong Kong governments announced the ban on Japanese seafood imports after Japan's plan to release treated wastewater from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific Ocean. If you pose a significant apprehension regarding the discharge of tritium water, kindly pay attention to the operation of various existing nuclear plants producing large quantities of radioactive materials, not only tritium, but also multiple radioactive wastes to the environment. 